Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And we're here with another six things list for you. What is it today, Dalton? Six books that should be made into movies. My first novel that deserves a movie is Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. This was my introduction to Vonnegut, and I am not sure how they would make a movie out of it because uh, the narration is is sort of all over the place. But if you could find a way to capture this on film, I don't know what else to say. Let me start off my list by jumping on the John Green bandwagon. Since The Fault in Our Stars did so well, why have we not brought out a movie for Looking for Alaska? I believe this is one of Green's first, possibly, but this is the big one in my opinion, the first one that introduced me to John Green. And I want to get away from the whole, you know, discrediting him because he's a young adult author. This is good. This is wonderful. This deserves to be a movie. Also. Now is the Hour by Tom Spanbauer. Uh, Spanbauer is the guy that Polinick credits with teaching him to write. Uh, he is also, as far as I know, the person who invented the uh, dangerous writing movement. And dangerous writing is, is what this book is all about. It is, what dangerous writing is, is you put something out there that is embarrassing. And a lot of writers don't do that because the fear is, oh, well, my reader might judge me for this. But what ends up happening is your reader buys in even more because you're sold at that point, right? Um, and this novel is visceral, a visceral novel for the coming of age genre. Um, and I've never read one like it. Hopefully Adrian doesn't kill me for bringing this one out. But Carolyn Parkhurst, The Dogs of Babel, which actually is being made into a movie, as far as I know right now, Steve Carell is currently the uh, front runner for Paul, which I think is a great choice. If you're gonna have a Paul, Steve Carell's your guy. I think from an acting sense, the uh, comedic actor getting into a more serious role, I look at Robin Williams in One Hour Photo, it's the way this movie needs to go. I'm gonna break form from the channel a little bit here. I know we normally focus a lot on fiction. But uh, Andrew Jackson, uh, maybe not particularly the American Lion uh, biography, but some biopic of Andrew Jackson is definitely worth watching. I know he gets a lot of uh, grief right now for having been as racist as he was, but everyone back then was racist. So if you discredit anyone, you have to discredit all of them. Um, and there's no real way to do that. Did you know Andrew Jackson shot a man? Well, Andrew Jackson shot lots of people. But Andrew Jackson shot a man after losing a duel um, with that bullet in his chest. He drew his pistol and shot and killed the guy. That belongs in a movie. In this one, we're gonna run the risk of can you make a movie? For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway. A lot of this deals with Hemingway's experiences in the uh, Spanish Civil War. I'm not sure if you can really capture the bravery and the heroics that he actually writes about, but God, that would make the perfect film. So guys, that's our list. What do you think should be put on your, what do you think would be put on your list? <laughs> Comment below. Let us know what you think should be the next Hollywood film. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Strip Cover. And Facebook at Strip Cover Lit. We'll see you next time.